Hey guys, welcome back. Another informational video. Today I'm going to show how to install a memory. I'll show both DDR3 and DDR4. These are the common uh, memory modules that is currently in the market and being used. So let's go with the DDR3 uh, model. So DDR3 has a notch. Of course, all of them have notch. And notice this, this is straight. Okay. And the DDR4 also has a notch, but notch is in a different place. As, as you can see here, it's not the same. It's in a different place. But one of the most important thing about DDR4 is it's going to have a shape. It's not going to be straight. It has a curve. Not sure if the camera is picking up compared to this memory here, which is straight line. The other one has a curve. So this one has a curve and that's how you easily recognize the DDR4 um, memory. First of all, before installing the memory, you need to know which slot in the motherboard should be used. First, make sure the motherboard is DDR3. So go to the website, Google, just put this motherboard name, whichever motherboard you have, put the name, put space manual, download the manual, find out what are the memory models supported. The second thing you want to find in the manual is which of these slots should be used in the first. Here for the sake of uh, this video, this one says DDR3 1 and DDR3 2, which means this is number one and this is number two. So most of the time motherboard doesn't care wherever it's been placed. But most of the time we use the number one or whatever is mentioned in the manual. I'm going to see where's the notch and the notch is here. I'm going to make sure the alignment is correct. So that's how it's supposed to be. I'm going to open this. Do not put too much pressure. You can see here the click and bring it here and insert it together and then press one side and press the other side. You heard the click. That means it's in place. It shouldn't be able to come off just try to see by pulling up if it comes off that means it's not been installed properly so you can install another name if you have otherwise it's just one so to take it out do not put too much pressure just click you heard it and you heard it and hold by the side lift it up and leave these clicks here and this is how you take the memory out but unlike the other one this one has four slots and it looks slightly different too you better place it with a color coding so this is dim one and this is dim 2 and this is dim 4 and this is dim 3 so you need to place the dim in the dim 1 or follow what's said in the manual Pl place it here once again press it again you heard the click take the second memory and place it in the color coded place that's it simple as that so you have two dims you have vacant so next memory if you have it you would place it here and the next memory you would place it here so that means all the space are populated. Now let me go with the DDR4. Uh, I took this particularly to show you that there is a slight difference here. Only one side opens and the other side is fixed. Now sometimes uh, we find it difficult to install it here because we don't press it properly, you don't hear the click. But either ways, same like what I said before, find out which is slot number one. Uh, follow the manual, here it says, this is DDR4 one, this is the slot number one. Bring the memory, see where is the notch. So the notch is here, so this is the correct alignment. And insert. Insert and make sure this is fully inserted. Now it's fully inserted. And then you press it down, so you hear the click. So if you look closely, you can see it's fully gone down. And it shouldn't be able to come up. So if you feel that this is moving, that means it's not installed. Take the memory out and do it again to get the right way. So that's pretty much on how to install the memory. I hope you learned something today. Be safe and enjoy. Thank you.